Good afternoon. This was another short trade that I did on WHLM. So in the morning, I went like a dollar, 60 cents, one dollar here, 60 cents here, longing it. It topped out at around 8.95. We had a lot of volume on a very micro float, and it seemed to just top out at this 8.95 double top right here, and then it started getting stuffy over here in 8.41. So again, the daily chart looks like this. Uh, we've got some volume resistance, but because it's a micro float, it's obviously very dangerous, even though it does look like a short into resistance. Um, on Oracle, it's over here. It was projected to 933. It never got up to there. And then 595 is a short delta, so it's in the middle. Um, so once I saw this huge crack, I was like, hmm, it's probably the downside or the reversal or we're going back down towards some support level. And so I got in here. The borrows on this were a little bit expensive and it seems obvious why because it had such a big gap up that a lot of short sellers probably want to pile into it. So it was $17.28 for the locate fee. And I got in here at $7.74. And once we hit the support level at 682 and this little curl up, because it's a micro float, I didn't want to lose my profit, so I exited here at 704. But right then after, it plummeted another like 50 cents, so I left 50 cents on the table. Um, but obviously, I was not going to swing this overnight because I don't want to pay 1728 times three overnight locate fees, like especially on a micro float. Hell no. So, so between my two trades on APDN, this was like a $29 loss. This was like a $35 win, I think. Um, let me just double check. $29.35, exactly. So it kind of balanced itself out. Um, so these date, it was like a $3 profit on the day between these two trades. Not total, but just between these two. Um, I should not have sized up so much on APDN as I did, but I'm trying to really keep that 100 share each time. Um, you know, this looked like a short into resistance on the daily chart, so I'm trying to keep 100 shares as my minimum so that, you know, I'm trying to size up gradually. On this one, I only did 50 shares because it's a micro float. Like, in case there's a huge squeeze or something, I don't want to be caught in something that's a micro float. So that was my thinking behind that. So that's pretty much what happened. I think I'm, I'm like, I'm out of day trades on interactive brokers and I'm out of day trades on, um, on trade zero. So unfortunately I think my week is over for now. So it's very obvious to me that I need to be above PDT at this point. Um, so hopefully I don't miss too much action, but it is what it is. Okay, bye. Have a good day.